Welcome to BNS About Movies. I'm Sam, and today we're going to pretend that it's 1997, and you could still go to a video store and rent things, and there were still somewhat decent movies in the theaters, and this is the time when Hong Kong directors were coming to America. And if you think of directors from the golden age of Hong Kong cinema, Sweet Hark has to be on that list, thanks to movies like Zoo, Warriors from Magic Mountain, and the Once Upon a Time in China series, as well as producing The Killer, Better Tomorrow, Black Mask, a ton of others. Let him in, Bravo. He's the nation's top counter-terrorist. The other one, you're good to go. But on his final mission... Negative. It's not him! He missed the target. Now, there's only one man who can put him back in the game. Whoa, I bet that hurt. That hurt. I need merchandise. The best. Sorry, I'm closed for tonight. You're open now. A world-class arms dealer. Did you open that? Yeah. With a flair for destruction. I don't know, man. I'll look at you. I see nothing but trouble. What the hell? So in the 90s, remember we're in the 90s, instead of continually stealing from Hong Kong movies, Hollywood decided to go right to the source and work with some of its most well-known directors. Hark also made another Van Damme movie, Knock Off, which starred Rob Schneider. Oh, boy. And frustrated by the lack of creative control, he would go back to Hong Kong. Why is it that almost every Hong Kong director that came over had to work with Van Damme first? I mean, John Woo did. Somehow, one of the world's greatest action directors ended up working on a film with Dennis Rodman in it. The results, three Razzie Awards for Worst New Star, Worst Supporting Actor, and Worst Screen Couple. All for Rodman, with Van Damme helping on the latter. Still, Rodman would have no less than six hair color and style changes in the film. Continuity be damned. John claude Van Damme is Jack Paul Quinn, an anti-terrorism expert brought out of retirement by his nemesis Stavros. Mickey Rourke. So for those of you who are always wondering, could JCVD beat up Mickey Rourke? You will get your answer. The big baddie blames our hero for the death of his son, so he kidnaps Jack Paul's pregnant wife, Catherine. Where can our hero turn? To one man, arms dealer Yaz. Rodman is Yaz, who has weapons so new he doesn't even know what they are. Great salesman. What Stavros doesn't know is that Jack Paul tried to stop the mission that killed his son, but it doesn't matter. His failure to stop him led to him being placed in the colony, which is just like the TV show The Prisoner. And it's used to keep agents too valuable to kill, but too dangerous to set free. So they all work towards monitoring terrorist threats and to keep from the rest of the world and their families because, you know, it's spy business. So while Jack Paul is in the colony, his handler is Alex Goldsmith. Paul Freeman, the lock from Raiders of the Lost Ark. And when Stavros ends up kidnapping our hero's wife, Yaz helps him find his enemy and battle him in the bomb-rigged Roman Coliseum. It's actually the Ares Amphitheater in southern France, but, you know, who cares? I mean, I care. That's why I talked about it. Somehow, I didn't think I'd ever see a movie where Van Damme and Rodman fought a tiger and Mickey Rourke while trying to save a baby in a basket. Yeah, here we are. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doing things in my life the right way. I guess this is proof one way or the other. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Dennis Rodman. They don't play by the rules. Sorry. Double team. Who does your hair? Siegfried or Roy? There's an amazing scene where Van Damme uses his apartment to train to escape the colony. Watch him do curls in his bare feet. Watch him light a cigarette to see how long he can hold his watch in a bathtub. Watch him do many, many splits. Also, every single time that Van Damme and Robin fist bump, I laugh. Uh, as Hark had to shoot a short Fulci zoom at many times directly into their hands. I think he got bored and he's like, we're going to have them fist bump this many times. Let's make it exciting. That said, the fights are decent. Sammo Hung was a choreographer, so of course they are. And I wonder what the original film, The Colony, was like before JCVD's lengthy rewrites. I probably assumed that Rodman was nowhere nearby, nor was there a scene where Van Damme dressed like a street punk and met Rodman who was dressed like he was in a film noir. Anyways, that's Double Team. If you'd like to hear more Jean-Claude Van Damme, just let me know. Send me an email at bnsbuttmovies at gmail.com and I'll get right on it. You can go to the site, bnsbuttmovies.com, and uh, that's about it.